three, two, one, and here we go. I am LaRod Smalls, and yes, this is Rise of the Black Warrior Podcast. Okay, so today's conversation, we're going to talk about a word, uh, a word that it's opposite in its nature, all right? The word is freedom. So this word freedom starts with free, which basically implies or, you know, expresses that it has no cost involved. But the truth is that this word called freedom could be nothing more than the opposite. All right. Freedom being the ability to operate, to act, the right to do without being hindered or without some type of restraint. That's what freedom is. But the truth is, any type of freedom has a cost. And most freedom, the biggest freedoms in the world, have the highest cost that have to be paid. Since the beginning of recorded history, people who have wanted freedom have had to give up their lives. They have had to give up, they had to pay at the highest level of sacrifice in order to obtain it. But not just freedom in terms of liberty and personal ability to move and to do things, even the smallest freedoms in your life, which could be financial freedom, what do you have to give up for financial freedom? What's the exchange, right? Is it hard work? Is it late nights? Is it entrepreneurship versus working a job? And we're gonna dive into a little bit of that conversation, but I wanna surround it right now with this bigger picture. That freedom costs. And you think about the rights and the liberties that people enjoy and experience or they want. Those things are massive. They're massive on a priceless scale to people. Like, what about the freedom to just be able to run down the street? Okay. Now, if nobody stopped you from doing it and you just had it was all on your accord, what would you need? You would need good health. You would need good muscles. You would need good strength. You would need the ability to breathe, respiratory. All of those things, right, require something. And if you had not paid the price beforehand to take care of your health, then guess what? You are not free to run down the street. A different spin on things if you think about it. And this plays out across all of the areas in your life. Freedom in your relationship. Freedom to connect with your children. The freedom to be self-expressed in your own world and in your own way about whatever it is. It's going to cost you something and you have to determine what are you willing to pay for it. Though, especially here at Rise of the Black Warrior, we speak from a certain perspective about black Americans and specifically men in this country that have the request to constantly be free to those that would oppress or those that would hold on to old ideals. And we also have to ask ourselves, what are we willing to give up in terms of our, you know, our sacrifice to have those things? To have a life worth living. To have the ability to operate and to do things without being blocked or to be hindered. Even if it's yourself. So, I want to talk about financial freedom for a quick minute because it's always a big issue. The financial freedom that one experiences from just, you know, being able to purchase things that they want or be able to travel or to be able to just, you know, enjoy the necessities of basics is really about time. It's not really about the resources. It's really about the time that it acquires you back because you have freedom. Because if you need to purchase resources, if you need to purchase things and you need resources to do it, you're going to have to exchange something to get it. And in this environment where you work for other people in a capitalistic state where you've got big corporations and, you know, they compete at such a high level in the marketplace, in order for you to be competitive, you're competing against those who are dominant in their ability to provide resources or whatever at an inexpensive rate. Now, if you're a small business person and you want to compete in this marketplace, you got to have a great niche. You've got to have some type of service that is unique or you have to be in an environment where you're the only one. 
Now, if you're competing in that type of environment with corporations or big you know, organizations, whatever, that have lots of energy, lots of resources and money, you got to be damn good. So what does that lend itself to? The fact that most people are working a job. They're willing to exchange their time for money because competing in the marketplace is very challenging. But for those that are entrepreneurs, those that are willing to sacrifice at the highest levels of themselves just for freedom, just for the ability to produce what they want, to create products and services that they see fit in the market so that they can have their time, so that they can control their own destiny, that freedom comes at a cost. And many times, entrepreneurs fail. It's only one in five businesses that make it past like year number five. And it's one in 10 businesses that make it past year number two. So as an entrepreneur myself, and to all other fellow entrepreneurs, and to all other would-be entrepreneurs, I say to you this, if you wish for freedom, if you wish for the opportunity for you to control your own destiny, the first thing you need to do before you lay out and say, hey, what is this product and service I'm willing to give? You have to say to yourself, what is the price of freedom? And what am I willing to pay for it? Now, for everyone else who is not even you know, thinking about that at all, I want you to consider for a moment all of the areas of your life that matter most across your body, right? And your fitness, across your faith and your relationship with your, your, you know, with your creator, your God, right? Or, your, or just your purpose, your family, right? Your relationship with your children, your wife, right? And, and the people who matter most to you and to your finances, to the areas of income and how you make money, all these areas in order for you to experience true freedom in those areas, what do you have to sacrifice? And what are you willing to sacrifice? Because those are two totally different things. That's freedom. And I'm hoping that everyone that's hearing me right now is saying to themselves, hey, listen, freedom is something that we must, we must evaluate and must be willing to chase after. And if you say to yourself, hey, listen, I am not willing to pay the price, you know that you are going to have to exchange your freedom in order to have it. All right. That's my thought, all right? Freedom is not free. And once you become aware of that, it opens up a whole new perspective on everything. Now, guys, remember, I'm so glad that you chimed in and you checked us out here on this podcast today. And I want you to know that, you know, I'm always going to be here to provide great ideas from other mentors and messages that could be of a benefit to you. So check us out on YouTube on iTunes or on Spotify, all right? You can watch us here in the studio or you can listen to us in your car or whatever. But remember this, you are only one decision away from changing your whole world. All right, everybody, peace.